my name is Sanfin Ayenda, the subcount MOH Koromani. And as the subcount MOH, technically I'm allowed to comment on health issues. But first and foremost, you remember His Excellency the Governor sold the six point agenda to the, to the people of Kakamega County. And one of them, and the leading one, is the health care of the people. Actually, he's doing quite a lot. And uh, for him, for him to reach out to many people in the county, he must go to the very rural areas where we have very, very, very sick people who are not able to access these services through our facilities. And therefore, I thank him for coming up with this uh, program uh, that is uh, Barasa Mashinani to make sure that these healthcare services reach to the very poor people, reach to the very ground where people get it difficult, maybe due to the difficult economic situation, to reach various health facilities. Uh, as we welcome the people of Shisele, that is uh, in this ward of uh, North Idaho North, uh, we must tell them that uh, we offer quite a uh, variety of services around. One of them is immunization of children. We have, as a subcount, we have not recorded all the children who are supposed or who are due for vaccinations. And therefore, uh, it is an opportunity through this program of Barasa Mashinani at least to reach out to these children, some of these children who are at home, who for some reason or, or uh, the other, they haven't made it to the health facilities at least to complete their schedule. And therefore, we are here to make sure that all children are immunized. And then we are also treating minor ail ailments. We have people who are sick. They walk around, they walk around, they, they, they walk sick actually. And therefore these are the people whom we want to make sure that they are healthy so that now they may go to their chambers, cultivate their chambers where they are strong so that they are economically very much active. Uh, not only that, we are also giving health education. It is very important to empower people with their to, with the information and the skills to handle their health issues. We have very many people who are sick in the houses. They are not seeking healthcare services. The reasons, we don't know. But now it's, the, it's our responsibility through the Barasa Mashinani program to make sure that this information has reached them so that these people are able to make uh, decisions and to seek healthcare in a timely basis, in a timely manner, so that at least we are able to to treat them early. Uh, my friend here has talked about cancer. It is very, very much true that uh, non-communicable diseases, among them cancers, are now the leading killers of our people. And uh, cancers, are, they are not choosing any other person. Long time ago we used to think these are diseases of the West, but now these are the very diseases that are de we are dealing with here in the local areas. So any, any museum when you are going to 45 years and above, should be screened off prostate cancer. As the end of your body, come as you can remember, prostate cancer. Mama, your young man, who has a bracket of reproductive health, uh, reproductive age, should be screened for cancer of the cervix and uh, cancer of the breast. Cancer of the cervix, if detected earlier, it is treated here, here, nowhere else. It's treated here, here. In fact, the much we can do is to refer them to the nearest centers of Shibwe. Uh, hospital and the Igu hospital at least to get that early tre treatment. Otherwise if we don't offer such kind of services they come to facilities when it's advanced and when it's advanced you know there is no key. There is no cure and therefore I thank His Excellency for this, for this idea. This is a noble idea because not each and everyone will come to the health facility. Coming to hospitals uh, to get drugs are two different things. His Excellency the President himself has committed to make sure that hospitals have drugs come to Igu hospital. I'm telling you, you will get the drugs there. And some of the drugs that are being used here have come from those hospitals. Those hospitals. Therefore, we have enough drugs. In fact, the governor himself makes sure that we get the drugs on time and enough drugs at least to cater for our, pe for our people. I think whatever that is being said out there that we don't have drugs, maybe it could be politics. Me, I'm a professional and I should state as it is.